doing something a little bit different today. Catherine is dropping Morgan off at a nanny daycare situation. This is our first time that we've ever done something like this. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I know. <laughs> it was really hard. Was it? it was, yeah. Hard for you or hard for her? Hard for me. Like when we got there, she have you ever seen her do this thing where when we, you get to somebody's house, she just stands on the porch and she doesn't come in. Let's go in. Like Janelle, Sloan, and Did she Nanny know was something there. was different this time or something? No, she did it last week too. Oh, she okay. Went there. She was just standing there and I was like, let's go in. And then I walked in first and she just stood there. We were, we were all like talking to her. Like she left her mermaid book there last week, which we didn't realize. Janelle was like, look what you forgot. And she still didn't come in. She's, She's looking for it. There. Um, so finally I went out with her and I carried her in. And I was like, oh gosh, this is going to be brutal. And then finally she started, I started talking to Janelle and she started talking to Sloan and the uh, nanny. And so I was like, well, thankfully she warmed up. Yeah. Okay. So how much time we got? Till 12.30. All right, let's go do some work. Okay, so I'm just, I don't, I don't know what to do first, so I'm just doing this for now. That's good. Um, I just need my iPad and I can work off of that. Okay, so I'll get, make sure my computer's charged. I think it is. Spring it. There's, I saw plenty of chargers there. finished up a little workout <clears throat> day is not over by a long shot though Catherine and I are actually going to go look at a home a home that this isn't a preview for a client um, this is a home that we're thinking about maybe for ourselves yeah we're gonna check out this house Mo. okay Let's go check this house out. See if this is the one for us. You see another house? Okay. We're trying to get away from seeing other houses. Hmm. What don't you choose differently? You're saying. My house. This is your house, but what don't you like about this house? Um, and every. Yeah. Do you, are there things that you like about this house? Yeah. What 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 do you like about this house? I bet it's something we only have hearts. Yeah. Do you do you wish we had a bigger house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um what kind of special, like, is there any special features that you'd like in the house or any, like, finishings that you'd really want? No. No, that's not important. You just want a big house. Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. Hey, Miss Real Estate Agent, can you make that happen? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that we're communicating super effectively, but I'll do my best. Yeah. Big house. Big, big house. Bigger. Bigger. Got it. Bigger house. And a week my money we go get me a cock. And a clock. 
you want just like lots of enough room to put a clock in the house? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. A lot going on today. This was the first day that we had dropped Morgan off with a nanny. And second, went and looked for a home that we might buy. A lot going on with those two different things. So I'll probably save the buying a new home for a new episode of Inside Real Estate. So let me share with you why finally after almost two and a half years, we're getting some help with Morgan. When Catherine and I decided to start a family, I had my coaching and consulting company and I was traveling 30 to 40 times a year on the road, planes, hotels. That was my lifestyle. I knew that I didn't want to be gone from my family for that much time. And second, I didn't want Catherine's business to suffer too. She had spent a lot of time building up her real estate business and to just become a full-time mom, uh, that was probably going to take her away from her real estate business. The obvious choice seemed to me was, let me go join Catherine's business. So that's what I did. It was a very conscious and purposeful decision that we both made. And in fact, at the end of April, beginning of May was actually the first time that Catherine and I had ever spent a night away from Morgan. We understand that you can only do that for so long because I'd like to say it's that we're so busy, we just can't do it anymore. The, candidly, we could still pull it off if we wanted to, but we also accept that now that Morgan is almost two and a half years old, she's gonna be going off to school soon. And our entire lives cannot revolve around Morgan forever. So we're starting to accept that. And there is a small part of it is that we are getting busier and busier and busier. So in order to take advantage of where our business is at right now, we do need a little chunk of time each week so we can focus on our business growth. And that's really all it is. We're, we're dropping her off for half a day, two days a week. That's how we're starting off. And that, that six to eight hours that we're getting from that is gonna be plenty of time for us to focus on the growth of personal group. I'm really glad though that I was up and out this morning at a meeting that I didn't have to be a part of dropping Morgan off for this first day because I don't know if I could have done it. It would have been, uh, it would have been really tough for me. So I'm glad that I just wasn't even there to have to deal with it. Nice.